What do we have here? Now this is a pretty cool knife. How do I know that since I haven't messed with it yet? Well, a weird little backstory on it. Artisan, for whatever reason, they put their stuff out on uh, Amazon. Obviously, there's a reason for that. Okay. Not too thin. Yeah, I don't hate it. Oh, yeah, right away. Good action. So, they put their stuff on Amazon, and uh, for whatever reason, I'm not sure why they decide to do that, there's some kind of, uh, like a limit. Ooh, nice thumb action, too. Not bad. Uh, there's kind of a restriction on where some of the knives can go. So I live in Florida and I couldn't order this knife uh, to be sent to Florida. It just kept saying, you know, uh, can't send it, you know, whatever. So I sent it, I had it sent to a friend uh, who lives in a different state and it went fine to him. And he did his own little review and I thought it was pretty good. So I'm just going to unbox this and say, hmm, yeah, I kind of like it. And then I'm going to include his quick review of it. And then we'll see. Maybe we'll all add in some more later, or maybe not. Maybe that'll just be it. But I think I'll probably add in a little something, at least like a goodbye and have a nice day. Let's see, what do we got on here? Designed in the USA. It's ARPM9. Let's see if I can figure out who the designer is. Obviously made in China, because it says so right there. So if I uh, figure that out, I'll put it right up here. Oh, maybe it's got something on this card. Let's see. Carbon fiber, uh, ceramic bowl, CNC machine. Yeah, nothing really. All right, if I figure out who designed it, I'll put it up there. I, I'm liking the size and the feel of it so far. It's real smooth, too. A little double clutch, but man, not bad at all. Oh, I like it. Real slicey blade. Okay. Uh, I'm going to pass it off to my buddy. So, put your hands together for the nicest of nice guys. That carrier of CRK, Chad Shabazz. Hey, everybody. Chad here. And today I got a little review of this artisan cutlery knife here let's see what we got nice box here let's just get right to it and open it up okay let's see what we got this nice bag it comes in oh what do we got the the birth card showing us what uh what the knife's all about here see if i can zoom this in that shows some quality right there gets that model number shows the blade steel what do we got here ar rpm 9 with a hardness of 59-61 hrc should be a good steel for your everyday use i would say get the job done handle material oh a carbon fiber a carbon fiber we're gonna open here let's see so we got a bearing liner lock ceramic balls CNC machine, I have, right? Ceramic balls in here. Balls. This thing is going to have balls. So let's see the balls. Okay, let's put this back here. Nice little silicone pack. Nice little silicone pack in the box. Keep everything all dry and protected from moisture there. All right, let's just get this out of the shot here. Okay, so, all right. So let's get to it. We open up the bag. What a nice presentation bag here. Could use this bag for a, oh, a, a whole multitude of things here. So let's see what we, ooh, this looks nice. Even in the wrapper, even in the wrapper, it feels nice. Feels nice here, let's see. Let's cut this guy open here. So the carbon fiber, we'll use another carbon fiber here to slice into this guy here. Let's open him up. Let's see, see what we got going on here. Put him away, take this guy out. Ooh, feels carbon fibery. Oh, it does. Ooh, that feels smooth. That's a nice blade right here. Nice pocket clip. Looks like a deep carry there. See that? Comes off all tight to the top there. Nice deep carry clip. Ooh, looks like we got is that zirconium backspacer there. Oh, no, maybe carbon fiber. Yeah, that's a carbon fiber backspacer in there. 
matches really good. The weight, oh, the weight's real nice on it, yeah. Let's check it out in the pocket here. Well, I better not. It's not my knife. I don't want to, I don't want to put any snail trails in it here. I appreciate Mr. Binkley, one of my, one of my good patrons, always sending me these nice knives to review here. If it wasn't for him, my channel wouldn't be possible. Let's see, see the action on this guy. Wow, that is smooth. That is really smooth. Nice drop shot, too. Oh. Chatty likey here. This is a nice knife. That is smooth to operate. See if we can get a hard to do with my professional setup here on my water cup hanging over showing this beautiful carbon fiber blade with that deep carry clip matching it looks like matte a nice matte black on the let's see if we can get that in the shot there look at that oh yeah just beautiful really matches that uh that really blends nice it's like that look at that up to that carbon fiber about the same pattern there. Look at that. Almost identical. Nice knife. Feels good in the hand. Feels real good in the hand here. Let's see if we can get this drop shuttiness here. Oh yeah. Opens real smooth. Real smooth. I think with maybe closes nice, closes perfect, just perfect for. I mean, I cut the wrapper. I cut the wrapper. This came right out of this wrapper. This wrapper right here. This knife was in there. You saw it. You saw me cut this wrapper. So it's brand new. I think as nice as it's closing and opening, maybe with just a cleaning, this would just. Fall almost to that shiro, that shiro standard. Yeah, that's nice. Let's see. Try that slow roll. That's real nice. That's kind of old Chad style, though. There, that slow roll. Check that slow roll. All right. Let's see if we get. Oop. Yeah, fire's right out there. Fire's right out there. So, awesome knife. Awesome knife. Feels good in the hand. It's a good size. Let's do a little little size comparison real quick here. We got it. Right up there is a small Sebenza. A smallie. Don't have the large on, but it would be pretty darn close. Pretty darn close to a large Sebenza there. And I mean a real nice, outside of not having that incredibly awful thumb stud that that Sabenza has there. This is real nice on the thumb. Almost massages the thumb while opening. So yeah, that's a review there of this artisan cutlery. Pretty nice knife. Pretty nice knife. I'd say about the size of a large Sabenza. Pretty darn close and comparable. So it turns out our friend Chad was right. I've been carrying this thing for uh, like three weeks. Well, not every day three weeks, but on and off for three weeks. And it has just gotten smoother and smoother. And I think like the only thing I would change about it would be maybe a little more thickness to the, to the handle. But when you have a thin slicey blade and maybe thicker scales would be weird, but a little thicker would have been nice. I guess because it's fairly wide and very neutral in shape, it still feels pretty good, even though it's a little thin. The action, though, is just really good. Fun to flip. Fun to thumb open. Great knife. And a great review from my friend and yours, Chad Shabazz. Why don't you grab... One of these artisan cutlery, um, what is it called? An air, air, I don't remember. I keep thinking Arius, but of course that's, you know, a different knife. I'll put the name of it up here. It's a great knife though.
Uh, I think they're on sale. If I can link it, I will. I thought I saw they were on sale for 50 bucks on um, Amazon. So grab one today and then have a nice rest of your day.